hello and welcome back everyone it is your girl cassandra olivia back with yet another hair tutorial and hair review today's video is sponsored by a company called Cosa professionals they reached out to me a couple weeks ago and asked me to review two of their flat irons so i'm going to be doing that on my friend and show so if you have not already welcome to my channel but hit that subscribe button and let's get straight to the video so Nichelle is all natural as you can see she has a ton of hair very beautiful curl pattern I'm just going in and shampooing her hair and then I did do a deep condition for about 10 minutes and now we are all rinsed out and I'm just going to show you guys how I blow dry and detangle her hair this is sped up just because this video was like two hours long start to finish and I got it down to six minutes so I did not want to torture you guys with a super long video you guys know how I get straight to the point so I'm just going to section her off off camera I did put some heat protecting her hair I always use some type of heat protectant. I'll tag that down below whatever I use in this video but typically um, recently it's been Fanola but sometimes I use Rusk or Paul Mitchell super skinny it really doesn't matter what you use you just want to make sure that you put a dime size amount and you're protecting the client's hair so I'm going in with a paddle brush by Paul Mitchell I'm going to start detangling her hair from the ends and work my way up to the roots now again I'm not being rough with her I just sped this up hella fast just because I did not want this video to be super long I know who's ready for more hair tutorials instead of wig reviews I know you guys are probably like what the hell but I'm out here just trying to secure my bag to be completely honest with you guys and I appreciate you guys for rocking out and just watching my content and bearing with me my suite is like 95% done I promise I will also do a tour of my suite when it's completed I just want to organize my closet a little bit better sort my drawers out buy some more products and I'm waiting for my stylist chair but once that comes in I promise you guys I will give you a full run breakdown on products what I use, where I ordered everything from, so on and so forth. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, I'm just going in and blow drying her hair. Nichelle's hair is super long. I did also trim her hair in this video this day too. And she honestly just came in for um, this video. She came in to model for me. So shout out to you, girl. You are the ish. While I'm thinking about it, I'm just going to mention the products that Kosa sent me. They did send me their large Elite Styler in black. And then they sent me their Elite Styler in blush. The large styler you'll see is about an inch and a half and then the elite styler is one inch. I will also link everything down below as far as what I use just because I want to make sure I'm giving you guys the correct information. So now to the fun part. This is the packaging, how it came, which I thought was super cute because they had like this black and white stripe design. It gave me Victoria's Secret vibes. They also had an information card and also like a thank you card, as well as the two irons that they sent me in the box. So this is the packaging and we're going to get straight into this. So this iron that I'm opening now is the large Elite iron. It is 1.75 inches and it's black. It does have a one year warranty and it comes in a black pouch. Some things to mention about these irons is that they are tourmaline and ceramic plates. They're floating plates, which basically adjust to your hair. Um, it has infrared heat technology, negative ion generator and booster. I auto shut off after 60 minutes and an LCD display that gets up to 450 degrees. So I'm gonna go in and use both irons as I'm doing this video, just because I wanted to see how well they would work on her hair. And I am using them, I'm using both irons on 450. The same thing with the um, smaller iron, it's just, it's a different color and it's one inch instead of 1.75 inches. So here I am, I did the entire back section using the one inch iron. And then towards the middle and the top, I started alternating between the large iron and the smaller iron. Now this pink iron I was feeling for two reasons. One, it's smaller and I have really small hands. And two, the fact that I just like to take smaller sections and I like the color that it's pink. Like pink is my favorite color. If you guys can't tell by my freaking sweet, like pink and purple are my absolute faves. I was just feeling this because I just felt like it was different as far as like your typical, you know, black iron. So this is so far just with the heat protectant in the back section. And you guys see that bounce and that shine. So let's get into it. I'm just going to finish pressing out her hair using both these irons until I get to the top of her head. Then I am going to part her and I'm going to trim her ends. Um, overall, I like both of the irons. This is my first time using a bigger flat iron. I'm just a one inch type of iron girl. You've never seen me use a big iron on my channel ever because I just don't use them. But I liked it because you can take bigger sections, which is awesome if you have somebody with super long hair like Michelle. So I'll definitely probably be using that when I have longer clients. So here I am just doing her trim. 
and then I will show you guys the end result. Thank you guys so much for watching and staying tuned. Shout out to Coastal Professionals for reaching out to me, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.